Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another video. For today's video, I am finally going to be closing out my July monthly budget. I know that it is well past or well into the month of August. I think we're almost done with August by now, but I wanted to go ahead and film this just because I like to track this with you guys and making these videos really keeps me accountable with my budget. So I wanted to make sure to close out July so then that way I can go ahead and finally film my week one and two weekly check-in video for August and then just smoothly transition into the rest of the videos that I still need to get up. So today I'm here to finally close out my July monthly budget. I did finally receive my coil clip connector for my key here so that's what it's going on over here. I will say that I'm going to change a few of the colors for next month. So I'm going to create a little key here because of course after the month is over I just moved my key here to the next month and yeah I just thought it'd be perfect to do that since I will have some extra stickers because these blue ones were july exclusive colors and yeah i'm not going to use them anymore so yeah i'll make that towards the end of the video i think or once i'm done with the weekly check-in but let's go ahead and get into it because there was a lot of spending in the month of july and i just want to get over it i think i've also been putting this video on hold because i don't want to see exactly how much i've spent or how over budget i've been the first thing i'm going to do is weekly check-in for week four which was from the 26th until the 31st and then i'll go ahead and show you guys how i go about the results section i also i think had one transaction from my sinking funds so after i will go ahead and also close this page out and then last but not least i will go ahead and close out my actual monthly budget which is right here so yes, let's go ahead and get started. Let me lay down my budget expense stickers here. Let's see, the first transaction that I have was on the 26th. I spent, I spent $81.89 from my beauty envelope. I finally purchased my serum as well as I think I bought a lip liner. So that all together was $81.89 which I was really happy about since I was able to kind of splurge on that. Then next, I believe I have a transaction on the 27th. Yes, yeah, so on the 27th, I went to go get some tacos for Taco Tuesday with my friends Alicia and Stephanie. We also got some beer, but I think Stephanie, yeah, Stephanie paid for our beers. Um, so I only ended up paying for my tacos, which was $9, so that came out of my eating out category. And then after that, I don't have anything on the 28th or 29th. So then my last two expenses were both on the 31st. I moved into my apartment on the 30th. And this is going to be a little bit confusing, but I ended up going to Sprouts with my mom. So I'm going to go ahead and use my groceries. Little budget expense sticker here. I spent $45 here as well as I ended up going to Target to pick up some like household items and groceries but I'm not going to include that in this month's budget but rather August just because part of that is coming out of like my moving out budget which I still have to film but the way I'm doing things is making sense to me. I, it probably won't make sense to you guys, but that's how I'm going about it as well as I could have definitely waited until the first to purchase like my groceries and stuff. Not sure where my camera cut off, but like I mentioned, I treated my mom and little brother to some Poke Bar, which at the time that I'm filming this video, I've actually had quite a bit of, but that's for like next video. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to now go through my no spend sticker sheet here and lay those down on the days that I did not have any expenses so those would be the 28th the 29th and the 30th I also had a payday so payday will go 
on the 27th, Tuesday. I think I'm now going to make my little key. So I'm just going to write key here and just essentially just lay down the same stickers. I wrote them out. I wrote them all out, but I could have honestly like took some of the ones that I'm going to change, but I just don't know which ones they are. So that's kind of why I left them there. So I have them budgeted. Groceries. I already wrote these prior to starting the video because I knew that I wanted to do this. So groceries. Household. Also, let me know how you guys are liking the lighting. I think it's a little bit different than before. So it's taking me a bit to adjust to it, but let me know if you guys like it. Eating out, allowance. Beauty, and I'm only, I'm not going to put the other sticker just because I didn't have any other expenses this month in the monthly view, so there's really no point. But that is going to be the key that will stay here, so that's good. All right, next up, let's go to my weekly check-in page. I'm going to write out the categories I'm going to be weekly checking in for. So those are groceries, household. On a run from my given disaster. So those are my categories. I wrote them out on both of the sections. And we're just going to make dashes on the rollover little column. Now let me go ahead and flip back and forth between um, my monthly view and this page. So the first category I'm going to check in for is groceries. I have, well I can just look here, I have one expense of $45. And sprouts. So I'll write down $45 spent. And last week or the week before this, I only had $37.42. So I did go over budget on groceries. And this is also the main reason why I didn't also include I didn't also include the groceries that I bought from Target because I would have just been even more over budget and I meant to buy those for the month of August anyway. So I could have totally added this to August as well, but I did have some money in there. So I just wanted to go ahead and use that. Of course, this is not the way and I'm not telling you guys to budget this way or do the things that I do, but this is what's going to work for me in my budget and what I'm going to do for this month. So. I was over budget once again by $7.58, which I'm looking for my other red pen. I can't find it. I think this one's almost pretty much done. Or just like the tip. But I can't, I really can't find any of my things ever since I moved. So once I do, I'll change my pen, I think. But anyways, that was for groceries. Then for household don't have anything money spent for household this last week which is crazy because remaining i have 80 dollars and 46 cents which is quite a bit of money nice okay so that's for household eating out i spent nine for Taco Tuesday and $32.72 for Poke Bar. So in total, I spent $41.72 for eating out, which as you guys can see, I was already over last week or the week prior by $22. So in total, I was over by $63. I really don't like this pen right now. And $0.72. Cents. That's so much money, guys, on just eating out. I'm not proud about it, but anyways, did I spend any money for allowance? No, nothing for allowance, so zero, which means that remaining, I have 15.32. For beauty, I spent 
89 and I had 118.49 remaining the prior week 36 and 60 cents for beauty now no expenses for gas and that was it so zero for spent there but I was already over by $20 this month this looks really ugly okay I'm sorry <laughs> I can't anyways um, and then no red stickers aside from the one that I already had last week so zero here but once again I was over budget by $22.99 on that I feel really bummed right now that I have so many like red markings which means that I'm over budget on four of my categories for July but to be honest I kind of already knew this once again it was the reason why I didn't want to film this video but now that we're here you know we're just gonna have to face it build a bridge and get over it because we are already in a new month and I believe I'm doing way better in the month of August so don't worry about it guys you know you live and you learn it's okay I am just gonna go ahead and now write out the numbers in my results section so the remaining will be the same as last week and then I'll go ahead and add all of these spent for every week per category. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick and come back and kind of, I guess, go through the numbers with you guys. All right, guys. So these are all of the numbers for the results section. And I like to have this section whenever I can because some, some months I do end up using week five, but for this month I didn't have to. So I like to have this section because I can then go ahead and flip back when, let's say, I'm creating a budget for a new month and kind of see patterns as to how much I'm spending on each one of the categories. And then that way I can go ahead and either increase or decrease the amounts like for household I spent $50, but I was under budget by 80 just because in the beginning of the month, I rolled over 31.43. So I do like to roll over in the first week and I will be rolling over, I think, all this money just because I do have to buy new stuff for my apartment and I was going to count it out of like my moving out budget, but I think I'm just going to use my cash envelope since I have this amount right now. So these are all of the numbers and everything that I've spent. So for groceries, I spent $207.58. Household, in total, I spent $50.97. Eating out, I spent $170.22. Allowance, I spent $84.68. Beauty was $171.57. Gas, I spent 120 and I did have an unbuttered expense of $22.99 for, I believe, my gym cancellation fee. But yes, this page is now all done and ready to go. So I can go ahead and finally move on to my sinking funds to closing this page out. I am going to take a quick picture of my transaction log. So then that way I don't have to go back and forth between these and I can just focus on this page so since I am done with the weekly check-in I know how much I'm going to transfer or roll over from my allowance cash envelope into my allowance sinking fund so I have 1532 that I'll be adding on to that so I'll write 1532 and okay, let's start. So for adventures, did not spend any money. So I'm gonna put zero here. And that means that I'm ending with 201.21. Allowance, I spent $20 from here. So ending, I have 16 dollars with eight cents in this sinking fund. Car maintenance, I know I didn't spend money for, did I? I did not. I'm just gonna write zeros for the ones that I know already. Like car tags, Christmas. I didn't have many transactions this month, which is I think always good. So for car maintenance, I am ending with $165. Car payment the same, $373. Car tags, I am ending with $170.
Christmas, I am ending with 816 with 50 cents. For clothing, I did have one transaction of $82, which I think should be, yeah, it's all of this money. So remaining, I am ending with 70 cents. Sarah was spent from my Costco sinking fund, so ending with $35. Date night, I spent $20 for date night. So I am ending with $20. Electricity, I spent $134.17, which means that I am ending with $33.16. I mentioned this in my August monthly budget video, but I don't know how I'm going to be paying for electricity like from now on in my new apartment. So we'll just have to see about that. In the next few months entertainment let's see i spent 120 dollars for entertainment i had so much fun going to the oc fair and then i went with like my siblings so i can't wait for next year to go again um, remaining i have 11 dollars in here i did not spend anything for gifts so I am ending with the 100 that I started with. Medical, I had a transaction of $5.39. So I am ending with $434 with 22 cents. For miscellaneous, I did have one expense, which I don't think I mentioned it, but I ended up buying like a self-defense kit from Amazon and I just took it out of my miscellaneous thinking fund. So that was $33.15. So that is what I spent from miscellaneous this month. So I am ending with $40.29. And then lastly, for my Peru trip, of course, I have not gone to Peru yet. So zero spent, and I am ending with the same amount that I started with, which is $1,200. Now that these are all done, I'm gonna go ahead and total everything. So the beginning, what I added, what I spent, and then my ending for the month, which this number should match up to the beginning amount for my sinking funds in August. So now my ending total is 3616 dollars with 16 cents and that is it for this page okay good i'm done <laughs> i feel so relieved once i'm done with this page because this is i think the most work that i do like in a video the results um just hear that i think someone kind of cracks in anyways so now i'm gonna go ahead and go back to my main monthly spread to close this out but before that i did have one more shipping expense of six dollars and seven cents as well as i did get some um, income from the amazon affiliate links but i think that's it yeah so that was pretty much it no new business expenses or anything like that so pretty i think okay chill month nothing too crazy aside from like my cash envelopes but that's another story this is going to be pretty interesting i'm going to start of course with the actuals for my variable expenses so i already took a picture so that i know how much i've been over on the categories that i'm not over in i am going to just put the exact same number that i budgeted as the actual just because i will be rolling that money over to next month's cash envelopes i hope that made sense so for groceries i spent 207 dollars with 58 cents which means that i am over i hope i can use this correctly by i did this wrong so seven dollars and 58 cents okay <laughs> Then for household, I'm going to roll over the amount. So I'm just going to put that the actual was the same as the budgeted number. I hope that's dry. Okay. Eating out, 
I was over by 63.72. So to make things a little bit less confusing, I'm just going to go ahead and add the 63.72 to the 120. So actual was 183.72. And over by 63.72. There you go. For allowance, I rolled over that amount, so the actual is 100. As well as for beauty, 200 for the actual. Gas, I was over by $20, so I spent 120. phone bill. Let's see, for my phone bill, that ended up being $71.81. I can go ahead and check these off. I don't know why I never did. So $71.81 spent for phone bill. So I was under by 19 cents. For my internet, that was, I think, 69 Yeah, it was $69.99. So there was no variance there. Gym membership was $22.99. So no variance there. I didn't end up getting a haircut in the month of July, so I'm going to put zero for the actual. And that I was under budget by $75. I did go ahead and add this category to my August monthly budget because I do plan on getting a haircut. I really need it. And last but not least, for unbudgeted, I did have an expense of $22.99. And since I don't budget anything for this category, I was over by the $22.99 here. Now I'm going to go ahead and add all the positives first, so the 75 and 19, and then subtract it by the negative. So we have 22, 99, 20, 63, 72, and 7, 758. So in total, I was over budget, I should total this up too, by 39 with 10 cents, which is actually not too crazy. I totally forgot about my haircut here. That is the number that is helping the whole situation in my whole budget as of now, but it does not matter. <laughs> the total amount spent was $1,099 with eight cents. Perfect. Okay, so now that I have both of my totals for variable and fixed expenses, I can go ahead and write those out in my actual section. So like I mentioned, 1099 with 8 cents. And the actual is the same as the budgeted amount for my fixed expenses. So now I'm basically done with this spread. The last things that I would do if I were disclosing my income would be writing out my expected and my actual total incomes right here, subtract all of my expenses from that income, and whichever amount I have left over is going to go in this squared off pattern box, which will indicate what I'll be putting towards savings. All of this year, I had been working on my emergency fund, but as you guys know, I did have to dip into that, into my savings to fund me moving into a new place. So definitely stay tuned for the next few videos I will be having my week one and week two budget check-in video up soon as well as my moving out budget so yeah that's pretty much all that I have for this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for coming along with me and for sticking until the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it as always please do not forget to give it a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already and hopefully I will see you guys on my next one bye guys my pride has burned